had the blues But nothing ever stopped me From dusting off my shoes You might think you'll see me Falling to the ground But I threw up my umbrella When rain stops hitting down Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or wherever you are. G'day, Shane here from Kahuna, Australia. It's 6 a.m., 4th of September. It's my son's birthday. He might even come in and say hello. He might not because it's 6 o'clock here, and, well, it's 6 o'clock, so he's probably still in bed, let's be honest. Um, where are we up to here? See, it's spring now, so we're in dairy country here, and so this time of year for us is stupidly busy. There's calves all over the ground at the moment for the dairy from the dairy cows, and you would have seen, if you're a member of the uh, Bloody Legends Facebook group, there's lots of photos of cows going on over there. Um, there's even some of you people put Holstein cows there. It's, I work on a Jersey farm. Just, just Jersey cows, guys, come on. Today, what we're talking about is a few different apps. So we've got a few people coming in here already. Um, and if what we're going to talk about is what your favorite apps are. So as, as we progress through this, and I'll repeat it a few times as people come on in, um, just put a comment there of what phone you use and what your favorite app is. And it can be a camera app, an editing app, uh, a planning app, whatever app, whatever you want. Put it there. We'll have a chat about it towards the end of this. Greg's on his way home to what should be there shortly. You're texting this into a live stream while you're driving, Greg? What's going on? Um, John Davis, Saltburn by the Sea, UK. Saltburn by the Sea. Is that the name of the town, Saltburn? Um, hey, Pierre's here. Pierre doesn't normally get on here and say good day. Pierre, uh, good day, mate. Good to see you here. You normally miss these and watch them in the in the reruns, if you like. Um, if you like what we're doing here, we've got a lot of ways that you can support what we're doing here. <clears throat> it's uh, The channel's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's taking more time to do these things that we're doing here. Um, you can do anything to support this channel. You can just see a video that we produce here and push out. And if you like it, hit the like button, hit a comment, put a comment there. You can share it on social media and stuff like that. And that there helps the algorithm with YouTube. And they say, this guy knows what he's doing. Just don't tell them that I don't. And it'll help me channel, help this channel grow. If you want to, to uh, support me financially, um, there's a few ways you can do that. You can buy merchandise down the bottom there on the screen there on YouTube. You've got uh, different T-shirts and stickers and things like that. And good old Greg McMillan, I think, on his last podcast there, he even wore one of the Duck Stunts T-shirts and got up there and, and then showed what's going on. And, and here I am telling you you should do that. And I just realized I'm not even wearing mine. So there's that. You can also become a member on this channel. And there's a few people who are in the chat room here um, who are members. You can see beside their name there, it's got a little uh, white circle with a camera in it. That camera is actually my photography logo. And these guys here are supporting me financially on the channel. We're talking about a couple of bucks a month. And um, basically, you get a few things for that. You get a, an extra live stream, an extra one of these. And I show you um, basically all the stuff that people are sending me. Um, and we talk about different videos that you guys would like to uh, for me to do and uh, different things that you can learn and also over there on phone photo school if you are a member on this youtube channel you get all the presets over there for free so instead of paying five bucks for a preset you get the lot for free so today we're talking about phone apps a little bit later um i'll bring in the first guy here first guy the only other guy that's here um no point telling you that the first guy because there's only two of us here um you probably know him. Um, if you're on the uh, uh, the uh, Facebook Blade of Legends group, um, Mike James, um, he does a bit of macro photography, um, and they're the photos that um, they are the photos that he has uh, been posting onto that group a bit. I can't think if if he has posted anything else, mate. I'm really sorry because I don't remember. I just think about his macro stuff because he's pretty bloody good at it. <laughs> Um, he, he does a few different things. Anyway, I'll bring him in here um, and we'll talk about what he does. Uh, where are we? G'day, Mike. G'day. There we go. <laughs> so Everyone's going to have to get, get used to us saying g'day, aren't they? 
<laughs> well, it's unusual, mate. I think you're the first Aussie that I've had on here. Um, oh, wow. I, I've, not, I've been speaking to... Oh, no, you're not the first Aussie. Yeah, sorry, yeah, Ralph. 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 Yeah, Ralph was on it. Yeah, sorry, Ralph. I'm so sorry. I forgot all that. <laughs> I was just wondering. Clearly, <laughs> while clearly memorable, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> while I was um, watching, while I was waiting for this to start, I was actually just watching uh, Ralph's, one of Ralph's videos before. So he should yeah. be here front of mine. <laughs> 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 Uh, if he is here, oh, man, I'm so sorry. Uh, who, who we got here? Uh, Mike Goyd. Mike's posting, I don't know if you've seen this, uh, uh, Mike James, but Mike Goyd has been posting some ridiculously good photos over there on that Facebook group. We'll we'll go through some of those at the end of today. Samsung 20 Ultra, Snapseed, they use Photoshop Elements and Luminar. Eh, that's cool. Saltburn is a town. It's a beautiful town too, <laughs> right on the coast. Oh, do you know it? Yeah, 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 yep. I um, oh, you spent it's on the, it's on the east side. Yeah. yeah, I spent seven months living over there in London. So yeah, it's uh, it's on the east side of the UK. Yeah, I didn't yep. actually get there. We planned to go there. We were going to go up to the Lakes District and then move across over to Newcastle, which isn't far away. So um, yeah, yeah, uh, looks looks lovely. I would have thought after spending all that time in the UK, you'd be saying Newcastle. I never got there, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what, oh, Ron Duval, half listening because you're supposed to be working. If you're meant to be working, it's probably Friday. It's probably Friday afternoon, so just, just knock off, mate. It's fine. Uh, have a brewski. <laughs> yeah. Cool. He was in the car when he made that comment. He's home now. <laughs> <laughs> Two Aussies, it is the duck nuts. So, um, Mike, you've, you've watched these live streams before? Yep, yep. I'm, I'm putting you on the spot here. I did actually ask you that before. No, no, <laughs> oh, absolutely. Be yeah, sure do. Yeah, no, that, uh, when Greg posted, well, when he uh, stood up and said, this uh, this lens is the duck's nuts, I was nearly crying in laughter. It was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> well, <he's laughs> I'm so impressed you got that T-shirt over to him in that time as well. So <laughs> well, it was um, totally shock. That's, that's through um, Teespring. So I don't make them physically here. I've not got a lot of sweatshop yeah. here where I'm, where I'm not when I'm not doing carving stuff and I'm not doing photography stuff, I'm sitting there making T-shirts. It doesn't work that way. But it's, just, it's, a, it's a third party that just, well, I'll design it all when they, they make them up for me. He says yeah, there's two Aussies on here, so that's the duck's nuts. That is the duck's nuts, <laughs> Greg. The duck's nuts. Um, so if, if you've seen these before, you know that I asked this question first, and hopefully you remember that I asked this because it could go to shit really quickly. Um, tell everyone here who's watching this uh, in a tweet, 140 characters or less, who you are and what you do. Do you know what? I actually have seen this. So I sat down and I and I counted the characters, <laughs> rewrote it, rewrote it. <laughs> like, oh, I wish I hadn't have been prepared for this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically, what did I write down? I haven't even got After all that effort, I don't even have it in front of me. <laughs> so, uh, what did I write? I wrote, uh, uh, married to my best friend, three young kids, uh, and I help uh, photo enthusiasts become more confident and creative on their mobile phone. I think that was it. Pretty close. Is that 140 <laughs> characters? I think it was close. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I think, I think Twitter's even longer than that now, isn't it? Isn't it 240? Maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I've, yeah. got a, I've got a feeling they've doubled that. Greg's a bit of a, a Twitter man. Um, he might be able to tell if, if, it's, if it's longer than that. <laughs> so we told Ron <laughs> to have a, have a beer. And he, okay, do that, man. Don't get too drunk because you've got to probably get out there and take some photos tonight because your photos at night time are becoming ridiculous. You need to start your own YouTube channel and just show off because it's the stuff you're doing under the bridges and stuff there. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see those in a minute, Mike, if you haven't seen those. Um, yeah, so, Mike, when did you first get into photography? Uh, well, I've been working in photography for 25 years and uh, I started as a private investigator following around people with my big camera at night time <laughs> and, and it was the stereotype uh, private investigator too, um, following spouses and all that exciting stuff as a 20-year-old. Uh, so, so that, and and my first camera, I actually had to take out a personal loan to buy it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, yeah, so that that was how I first got into it, and uh, and so I've been working kind of in the field of photography for a long time in a very technical side yeah. of it, 
and yep. uh, absolutely hated photography, <laughs> if I could be honest. Yeah. Uh, and because it was a tool of the trade, like I didn't mm. get any enjoyment out of it. And every time I pull it out, uh, I was an absolute perfectionist, so I was one of those annoying photographers where I'd get everyone to pose and hang on, I haven't got the settings right, and just yeah. <laughs> so I wasn't fun to be around either. Uh, yeah. And then, and then, uh, what was it 2015? Uh, my mum passed away, and when she passed away, mm-hmm. it was at that moment that I realised that as, as you do, you go looking for photos for the for the funeral and that sort of thing. And and my eldest was nine at the time. And over those nine years, I had like six photos of her. And uh, mm-hmm. and so that kind of was a bit of big wake-up call that, oh, my gosh, I've got tens of thousands of dollars worth of gear that I can use in my personal life, and I don't use it. Yep. So then I started lugging around the cameras, trying to make a bit more of an effort, mm-hmm. and, and fell back into that. Like everyone else here, it's like it's so big and bulky, and, and you've never got mm-hmm. it there when you want it. And so I kind of paused my extreme prejudice towards the smartphone because <laughs> it's like why would anyone take a photo with that thing <laughs> yeah um yep. and then when i did i was just blown away and and uh and when i discovered long exposure and, and things like these camera replacement apps it's like wow mm. i was just yeah. i was sold yeah yep. and and then getting into the editing apps and things like um, touch retouch, where you could do Photoshop kind of stuff. It's like, wow, mm-hmm. why, why am I using the desktop anymore? This is brilliant. So I became yeah. a mobile purist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. I remember yeah. I, I was in a similar situation. I was, um, I had a, what was it, a 7D, a Canon 7D. That was my first DSLR, which is kind of like a jump in the deep end sort of DSLR. And <laughs> I, I was working for Xerox at the time. Was it Xerox? It would have been Xerox. And um, and, and I was a technician fixing photocopies and printers and things like that. And I remember using my phone, the camera on my phone, only when I took the back cover off one of these machines and they're just like a rat's nest of wires and um, right. PCBs and stuff. And I'd go, yeah. I'm not going to remember how that goes back together. Take a photo of that. <laughs> and that's all I ever used that damn thing for. If I if I yeah. went to like a, a parking spot where like a, a multi level parking bay or whatever, I'd, I'd like take a photo of where my car was just so I remembered where it was. That's all I used to use yep. the phone camera for. And, yeah, and yeah. Then people would yep. say, "Oh, you got to take photos of like, proper photos." Like, it's a phone. It doesn't. Yeah. So it's useless. <laughs> I with know. how far we have come. <laughs> I know. Who would have thought people with our background? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. And, and, so. and, I, and I absolutely get what you're saying with the, the gear. Um, once I started um, taking photos professionally, before that, I'd go, that's cool. I've got to buy one of them. That's cool. I've got to buy one of them. And then once yeah. I started making money with um, cameras, I was like, that's cool, but can I make money with it? No. So, yeah. It's yep. cool. No, yep. yeah. <laughs> no more cool toys. It's just, it's all business. Yeah. 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 It took the fun out of it a little bit. I enjoy doing it. Don't get me wrong. But, um, yep. it, it's, it's, you you it's say become... this, Shane. But you say this, but you were just telling me about this uh, growing pile of accessories that you've got now. <laughs> I don't buy it. People are sending me that stuff. <laughs> we still <laughs> love our it. toys. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, like the... The uh, where did I put that? Oh, it's up there. Um, the um, that that uh, uh, um, the handle, the electric eel. That's such a cool thing. I don't know if you saw that review. Is that like no, a, I've, no. started, I've started I've started doing a third video every week of just a. Well, this one was just the first one. So next week another one, another one, another one. Gosh, so three I videos get a week. One out a week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything else. <laughs> I go to I go to work and I come home and make videos. Um, yeah. But. Uh, well, that's that's the, that's the advantage of being in lockdown, I guess. <laughs> you just yep. you can't do anything else. But this electric eel, it's a um, um, it, it's a little phone tripod um, handle, sort of like a vlogging sort of setup. But the handle is a um, power bank, and it's just like ah. what a, what a stupid oh, good I've idea. Seen, I've seen so that. Is that is that uh, Ulanzi? No, 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 no. Ulanzi has a different one. Um, oh, right. This is. Uh, made by Inky, um, but it, what's on it? Um, oh, damn, it is up there. I was, I was hoping that the handle was here, but the handle is actually on the damn thing. Um, <laughs> you can take the handle off, and it's only like six or seven inches long, right. but it's got, I think it was like 13 or 14 quarter inch screws, so you can mount it to any camera setup oh, wow. you want. It's even got a, it's even got a NATO roll on it, a rail on it. 
I even called it a roll. When I, when, I, when I watched the video later, I was like, it's even got a NATO roll. It's a NATO rail. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's pretty... Oh, Shane, my audio sounds like I'm on the phone. Does it? How do you know what I sound like on the phone, Greg? <laughs> hmm. I also actually thought it was, was yours coming through. Maybe it's this. No, it won't be that, because through StreamYard, it does it by itself. Not to worry. But if you can understand me still. Yeah. Cool. Who doesn't um, like a good phone chat? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what, what phone are you using? Uh, I actually have a 10s Max. My wife has a 12 Pro. <laughs> Sounds weird that, that she's got the good camera. But, uh, but that's intentional. I actually have an older phone and use an older phone on a regular basis and to show people that it's not about the latest camera uh, yep. because, I, I don't know, when I first started doing this and running workshops six years ago, it, for me then it was all about the latest gear and all that sort of thing. But it, it quickly dawned on me that uh, everything gets replaced so quickly and, uh, and, and people would be coming out with me and they were just loving the photo editing side of it. I'd be geeking yep. out and they'd be like, no, I just want to improve the photos that I've got yeah. on my camera roll. <laughs> so it's like, well, I don't need a 12 Pro Max to show you how to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Yep. When I was, be yep. Before the days of COVID, when I was running the, the in-person workshops, I was going through the same thing. I'd say, this is how you tell a story with photos. and This is how you compose this sort of photo. And yep. after the first few workshops that I did, and people were like, well, because I did the editing at the end of it, and, yep. and people would just hang around there for hours. I'd be gone. I'd be like, thanks, guys. Good to see you again. I'll see you around next time. And I'd go, go get a coffee, whatever. And I'd come past an hour yep. later, all still there doing this. I'd be editing their photos. <laughs> yeah, like, know. right. Just yep. editing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny how we we, we bring our our, uh, our own experiences to it and make assumptions, and uh, yeah, yeah I, and I and I choose these amazing locations. You know, to Graves Lane in in Melbourne City, where you got the amazing yep. graffiti street. Uh, yeah. So many things to capture. No, yep. just want to edit what I've already got, <laughs> which, which which makes total sense because they're the things that are most important yeah. to them. Is the, there's there's yeah. a reason behind those photos, and that's the power of photos, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. This is this is a great mm. spot to take photos, but I want to edit my photo from Vietnam, nineteen ninety eight, when I took a trip. Yeah, there. yeah, yep, yeah, yep. I, I yeah. thought it was just that they wanted to wanted me to buy them a coffee. I thought it was the, <laughs> just, <laughs> let's just get the coffee bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, how many people we got in here? We got oh, there's only fourteen. It's a slow morning. We're not being we're not being entertaining enough, Mike. Um, oh, wow. So wh whoever bring, whoever brings some energy here, then <laughs> bring your third coffee <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, just just on a, on a on a personal note um, this this comment here for everyone who's seen it that's actually my son and he said that's exactly how I say on the phone um, and I was saying to, to, to Mike just before we got on here I spoke to Tom uh, or Thomas Tom um, uh, the other day and I said are you in lockdown he's like oh because he's in Queensland. Uh, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> he said, are you in lockdown? I said, I'm pretty sure we are. Because <laughs> yeah. it's kind of just like a, a merging days of, are we or aren't we? But yeah. today is his birthday. And oh, he's like birthday. old as. <laughs> so um, if, 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 if you're watching this, um, please wish him a happy birthday from and tell him where you're from. Because I think you'd get a kick out of someone from Canada or wherever, Canadians, because I only know some of you are from Canada here. I don't know I don't know where Ron's from actually. Or well, Mike, I've got a feeling you guys are Yanks. But anyway, wish him a happy birthday, please. Uh, we should probably go through the rest of these comments as well. PS Touch is available for Android. Isn't there on Google Play Store? PS Touch Oh, is PS Touch. You know about it? No. I would say I, I would, in the, uh, in the early days, or well, so early days, five, six years ago, people used to talk about uh, Photoshop Touch quite a bit, but Photoshop, all their apps are kind of merging now into just Photoshop Express, aren't they? Um, you know, I yeah. used to love Mix and Fix, yep. which was fantastic, yep. but now it's just all yep. in Express now with the subscription. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yep. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. I, I don't know uh, if it's still available. Have a look. Um, 
Yeah. It isn't there. It isn't there on the Play Store. I'd say it's been merged. In fact, um, one of the people that I've got coming on to this show in the future um, is actually from Adobe. So we'll we'll ask him. He'll he'll tell us. Um, might go and shoot the Samsung Galaxy S twenty FE promo. Can't use long exposure with a native native wide angle lens. Can anyone recommend a decent lens? A decent lens to shoot. Long exposure. It's more of a filter set up for an Android phone, I would say, Mike. Um, yep. You've, you've got uh, the ND filters that many different companies make. I've used the Sandmark ones, obviously. Um, yeah. I think you've got a uh, ND, ND32, 64-32 and 16, I think it is. For the ND filters, um, Mike Goyne. Um, and you, that's probably you've what got you're the, the yeah. Nissi filters that you, you've talked about as well previously. Yeah. Um, yep. I'll, I've, I've started shooting. I actually got just frustrated with it. It's, it's one of those. Um, <clears throat> there you go, Tom. You're getting you're getting happy birthdays from literally all over the world. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Tom. <laughs> you should probably hear from your dad too. <laughs> <laughs> it's in third. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it's fair. <laughs> See what I got you for your birthday? All these people <laughs> wishing you happy birthday. <laughs> um, so, uh, what was I even talking about? So, when it comes to um, different companies, say, hey, could you do a review on you know, this, this bit of kit? Uh, I go, do, does the community that we have here want to do that? And two, is it good or is it a piece of crap? And um, if I think that you'll get something out of it, I'll, I'll say, yeah, sure. But if it's a piece of crap, it's not even going to feature on the channel. I'm just not going to show you. I'm mm. not going to recommend something that's a piece of crap. Um, but for years and years and years, I used Nissi filters um, for my long exposure with DSLR, and they're just awesome. They're fantastic. Um, the way that this thing is built and the price that it is, it's just amazing. And I yeah. went and purchased it myself for the phone because they make them for the phone, and I'm not impressed. It's the glass is the glass, and the glass is sensational. And this glass is fantastic. The filters are on it, just amazing. The contraption that holds it, it's, it's yeah. horrible. Uh, yeah, I was, I was going to say it's identical glass, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, um, Mike's just followed up as well uh, with what he, what he actually meant was he actually meant the wide angle lens, not the not the filters. We've both gone off on a tangent. <laughs> Sorry, that's, <laughs> that's what we that's do. That's how we roll here. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get too excited, passionate guys together. What's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, yep. I'd say that if like, you're, you're talking about a wide angle to shoot the Milky Way, mm. I would say that um, if you want the best thing to shoot the Milky Way with a wide angle is the Huawei because it's amazing. But you don't want to replace your phone. Um, I did do a video with um, the Sandmark wide angle lens with Milky Way, so using that smaller aperture camera on just a regular wide this is on iphone um but it would make sense that it will work for any phone but yep. if you're going to put a lens onto a phone especially for um uh wide angle milky way stuff you're going to it's going to need to line up perfectly um the and, and the way you're going to do that is with a case like so you're going to have to get a case for that phone and sand market this stage only do stuff for, I believe, might be wrong. I might be telling you to go somewhere else for the people who send me all this stuff. But um, go, go to anyone who's going to make a case. You, you, you can get good glass from Sandmark from Moment, and I'm, I'm sure that Mikey will speak on behalf of uh, Struman. That and and I've seen the stuff that the macro stuff that Greg's been pushing out with the Struman as well. It's just it looks like bloody good glass, but. If, when you're doing something like astrophotography, if that sucker's not lined up properly, you're going to hate it because you know, it's not a, like a quick snap done. It's not quite right. You're waiting 30 seconds to find out the shit house. So you, you, you're definitely going to want that case on there so it lines up perfectly. And I reckon Moment do it. Um, do you know if Struman has cases for, what's he got, S20? Yep, definitely do. Yeah, they do. Yep. And it's just as important for macro photography too to get that perfect yep. alignment. Yeah. 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 No, yep. Struman Optics, they've got a um, a wide angle lens and it's it has that edge to edge sharpness. Um, 
Exactly. But yeah, they've got cases, and you're spot on. Uh, without the case, yes, you can get the clamps and all that sort of thing, but it's just so important to get it lined up. It's, mm. I mean, those clamps are great there for if you upgrade your phone, and like if if you rush out and buy the the next iPhone, then your case might not fit it, and you've got to wait for the manufacturer to come up with a new case. So yep. those clamps, those universal clamps, are yep. great for that. Or moving it across to your to your iPad if you want to do a zoom and put it, mm -hmm. clip it onto the front camera. It's fantastic to for. Capability, yeah. a bit more, um, yeah. but yeah, the cases are. Way are to you go. one of these people who go to weddings and hold up an iPad to take photos from the, and then no. I'll try and edit out, <laughs> edit, edit out two two arms and an iPad from the air, so that I can see no, the bride and no. in the back of the church. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's not me. Got one of those. <laughs> I tell you what, though, I, I actually did used to take photos with my iPad, and I remember being on uh, Princess Bridge in Melbourne, and, uh, and I had my big professional tripod set up with my <laughs> iPad on it. <laughs> it was great marketing because people constantly came up and said, what are you doing? <laughs> and I had this one guy walk up. Uh, uh, John was his name. I can't remember his surname now. And uh, he walked up, and, and, you know, it's like when you've got like a five-minute window, if that sometimes, with the lighting to get it perfect. Yep. And uh, and he's come up and he and he saw that I was doing long exposure photography on my iPad and he was blown away and asking me all these questions and and I'm kind of like trying to be nice but can you just move on and <laughs> and anyway we got talking and, and I was explaining to him how long exposure works and the differences and all that sort of thing and yep. uh, and we cha exchanged um, uh, in, um, Instagram handles and all that sort of thing. The next day I looked him up. He's a professional photographer who specialises in long exposure. And here I was trying to explain to him how long exposure works. <laughs> oh, dear. But, yeah, yeah, the iPad I've, just I've, really got attention. Yep. I've got a feeling my battery is about to die on my my camera. For some reason, right. it, it, it charges whilst I'm connected streaming, and then other times it doesn't. But if it does, it's your show, Mike. <laughs> oh, okay. No pressure. You've got a format? <laughs> <laughs> We haven't even finished asking your questions yet. Um, uh, <laughs> um, we've, we've pretty much covered. Tell us about your YouTube channel, man. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, so I start, I started it several years ago, and uh, and it was it's funny listening to um, uh, uh, oh, who was it was on recently. Um, uh, anyway, you had someone on recently talking about the exact same thing. They posted a couple of videos, left it for a few years, came back. So I really only just, oh, he's gone. <laughs> All right, I'll oh, just no, keep I'm talking about my YouTube. <laughs> oh, you're there? Okay. No uh, so, yes, yeah, so I probably started properly uh, at the start of this year. So January, it was like one of those New Year's resolutions. Like, okay, I'm going to focus on this. I'm going to give it some the attention that it needs. And uh, so, yeah, so the intention was to do two a week but then life just gets in the way. So it's probably one a week and I'm yep. trying to, um, I'm trying to do it in a way that, that I can incorporate it with podcast as well so that I can kind of um, go out onto two mediums that way and add more value that way. So um, yeah. That's, I think, that's uh, well, well, Greg's kind of gone the other way. He started with his podcast and then he's come over <laughs> to uh, doing yeah. uh, uh, YouTube as well. I'm yeah. back. Yep. There you go. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of like um, I wish there was a way that I could charge this while streaming because it's a very good camera for streaming because I can hold stuff up here. Yep. As if, if David Addison is watching, <laughs> I'm showing off again. Um, <laughs> but it's it's such a good camera for doing this. But for some reason, sometimes it charges whilst we're streaming, and other times it just doesn't. Anyway, all right. And I think you're the second person I've just gone, yeah, it's all yours for a minute, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the show. <laughs> professionalism right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so there you go. Greg, Greg said uh, the clamp on streamings is better than the moment. Yeah, good stuff. Hmm. It's. Um, I'm hoping to get a hold of some of this stuff and, 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 and do some videos with it. Well, time will tell. We shall see. Yep. It's an Aussie, yeah. Aussie company. Um, so, your other part of your business, you should you should give it all a plug, mate. Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, so content wise, I that's what I love doing. Marketing, not so good at at all. <laughs> uh, whenever it comes to doing marketing, I go and make I, I get distracted 
making an, uh, writing an article or something. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's what I love doing is creating content. So on my website, I've got about 60 different articles on there now, tutorials and all that sort of thing. Um, and yes, I've got What's the your website? Uh, smartphonephotographytraining.com. I couldn't come up with a longer name. That was <laughs> so... <laughs> I used I used to be better mobile photos, and then I'd get people ringing me up inquiring about buying a phone. It's like that. <laughs> so uh, I changed yeah. the smartphone photography training, which was my tagline. And uh, so yeah, so now uh, on that website, now I have all my articles, and uh, and then the forum, the community, and I've moved this year. I moved everything across to this new platform where I host my my forum, my um, my free content. My courses, um, everything's all there. My podcast, YouTube, it's all in there in the one central repository. Just makes mm -hmm. it much more sense. It's so much easier for me to to, to focus on it all that way. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. and my yep. courses are a, a little bit different to others. I, <laughs> with that technical background, I love systems. So I have a mm -hmm. systematic approach to photography. So that's what I teach in the courses is breaking down. Yep. Uh, you know, from blurry photos to tack sharp four step system and I'm writing one at the moment for photo uh, composition and uh, yep. when I when I when I when I started that one I I think I knew about 12 compositional techniques because when you when you're taking oh, overhead wow. sh uh, shots and, and forensic type photos that sort of thing there's no no such thing as composition <laughs> so <laughs> it was totally new to me and and going out with a professional photographer a mate of mine he kind of opened my eyes up and and starting from a zero baseline and, and knowing about 12 i'm, I'm up to uh, over 100 different techniques and tools so yeah that's um yep. that's taking up all my time at the moment is is writing that yeah I'm right. excited about that yeah do you know did you watch the the, the live stream with david addison yes yep yep i think you two guys getting as in-depth with stuff um <laughs> It would be like putting two people in a room together and you don't need to see them for like five weeks because you'd sit there talking about <laughs> the in-depth detail. But yeah, when, um, yep. he, he did his his, uh, his first video on even longer and it was and it was long <laughs> and it was so in-depth. I'm not taking the piss. Yep, you know, like it it yep. was a good video. And he, he, he goes into such fine detail about what that app does yeah. Whereas I, when I did my video, with it was like, here's your phone, open the app, push this button, take a photo. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, easier, yeah, easier. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to post that to Facebook just so that Zuckerberg knows you're here, Mr. Addison. <laughs> oh, that's an ear. I thought it was a light bulb. Is it ear? Oh, look, uh, what was. Uh, this, I was going to put this up before. This is what the UK people have to shoot with the Milky Way. And if you if you get creative with it, you can take a photo with the Milky Way and Mars. It, I, don't, I don't know if there's anything else. <laughs> um, Actually, I've just seen, I, I think it was in your group, I saw someone sh shot a, put a Milky, Milky Way <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> it was funny. Um, um, it's funny, you know. I've got a, a list of things here that I keep keep in mind to like ask the person that I've got on here these questions. But as we keep talking, you're answering them all. It's oh right, it's okay. Of, it's good. Ruining it's good. for you. Not at all. We're getting the same content. Um, so earlier in the, this this stream, I was talking about. Um, what apps you guys use, and only a couple of you have put something there. Um, I'm keen to know, like, what phone you have and what your favourite app is. I'll ask you in, this, in a second, Mike. Um, so, if you've got a an, uh, an S21 Ultra, for example, um, what is your go-to app for that? That can be editing, planning, shooting, anything. I'm keen to know. Um, this, this is this is this could be the funniest comment I've ever seen. You're waiting in the dark UK nights for what? It's not going to get very clear there. You look at those light pollution maps and it's just the UK is like yeah. pink. <laughs> where, 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 where do people go in the UK? To, actually, David, you sent me some photos one time. You said to, to Google something in the UK, somewhere near where you were, David Addison. What was that place? Help, help, help this fellow out. Because I reckon there were some photos that you sent to me or you asked me to Google something and it it had this 
I think it was on the water with some rock formation with the Milky Way. So you've got to be able to do it somewhere there. And I've seen yeah, some photos yeah. of Stonehenge. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's a, a Photoshop thing or Stonehenge. Or, mind you, that's not right there, is it? I don't know. I'm just jibber jabbering now. Um, so with your, um, so you, you, with your iPhone, what is, what are your say top three apps that you use? Uh, well, I, I'm similar to uh, to Greg, <laughs> uh, who's in the, in the chat here. Uh, the hat on. I I went through a stage there where I downloaded everything. <laughs> I had over a yep. hundred, and uh, and 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 I didn't look at how much I spent because it would freak me out. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I tried everything, and to be honest, I haven't actually downloaded an app for over twelve months now because I've kind of got my solid solid six that I just that yep. I just stick to now. Uh, so just they? having a look at my phone. So I've got, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got uh, Snapseed, obviously, uh, Lightroom, Lightroom Mobile, mm-hmm. uh, Touch Retouch. Just having a look at my phone. Mm-hmm. What else have we got here? Polar, P O L A R R. That's not a that's not a popular one, but um, mm. what I love about Polar is it has amazing masking facilities in there or features in there. So okay. it's kind of one of the only reasons why I I tried Lightroom Mobile subscription for a while is so I could do local adjustments, but then Mm-hmm. When I discovered, rediscovered Polar, um, mm-hmm. yeah, the masking and uh, local adjustments there are, are phenomenal. So that's that that one. Uh, what else have we got? After Focus is I love that for the creating a blurred background post photo. Oh, yeah. So if you don't think yep. of using portrait mode, you can you can do it with any photo. Yep. And mm-hmm. PixArt is my other one that I that I use. Oh really? Use PixArt? Yeah, oh. yeah, yep. Uh, and and the reason why I use PixArt is. Well, all these apps that I, that I just mentioned, they're all cross platform So they're on uh, Google uh, Play Store as yep. well as iOS because there's yep. nothing worse than recommending stuff and then someone says, oh, that superimposed X that you're using for double exposures looks amazing. Have you got an Android equivalent? It's like, uh, <laughs> I do, <Yep>. but <laughs> I just want to talk yeah. about this. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, so, you go and look at any, any of the photos that are on that Facebook group. Yep. That, that anyone here has taken with even longer, and and you watch all the <laughs> Android guys just you can just picture yeah. them crying in front of their monitor because it's yep. such a good app. It doesn't doesn't and nothing is equivalent for the Android. Yeah, it's um, yeah. not easily anyway. It's um, well that, they certainly that have. video you posted where you where you blended six thirty seconds that was brilliant. That was <clears> I've never heard of that <clears> technique <throat> before. So yep. there is a way around. Yep. Oh, there's definitely a way around. And it, I, I said um, when I first got the the S twenty one, it's it's a fantastic camera for doing what I do with the with the Milky Way stuff. It's a fantastic yep. camera for that. Um, it, it's it's good in that it's got all the manual control versus the Pixel, where you just put it on there, wait for four minutes, and it takes a great photo. But the 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 um, the S twenty one Ultra, it's it's an incredibly good camera for doing that Milky Way stuff, um, but not much else. I shouldn't say that. That's not, that's not true. It's a very good camera, but it's not good for doing the, the stuff that we can do with the, uh, the uh, iOS. So things like yep. long exposure, things like star trails, those sort, yep. and they do it easily. Um, and, I, and I would say to people that uh, I made a comment that the, the Android is, um, you've got like user level admin, whereas on the iOS, you've got, you're just a user. So you, you play with what you're given. You're given a lot, but with the Android, you've just got to do a lot more. Does that make sense? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it, it could all be there, done. I mean, there yeah. are a, there are a couple of great uh, uh, camera replacement apps. Like I, I'm a fan of uh, FV Dash uh, Five. That one's really good because it's kind of it feels like I'm using a, a, a like a mirrorless or, or DSLR with the features. So that that's oh. a good one. It doesn't have long exposure though. Nothing has long exposure. I mean, you've got long exposure too, which is rubbish. <laughs> Hasn't been touched for years. Yep. But um. Yep. But yeah, FV Five. That's a good one. Manual yep. is another right. good one, not quite as good, yep. but yeah, yep. That's, yeah. When um when I first or that comment that I've put there was for Steve C. That's the place that Dave was telling me about. So if you Google that, um, you're going to find that location. Uh, what he showed me there, what when I googled it, it was you get some pretty impressive shots there. Dirtled or sounds like something out of Harry Potter. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> It's just <laughs> Harry Potter. Isn't, isn't, isn't that one from Dumbledore? 
Dumbledore. But right, right now, my son's going, Dad, you bloody idiot. He's a, Harry, he's a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> I'm obviously not. <laughs> La- <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, we've got a few here. Um, Mike Goyne. Time Lab. I can't say I've actually heard of Time Lab. So you thought I just wanted to say, you guys say all this so that we could just talk about it, but really I just want video ideas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time Lab. I haven't heard of that. I'm going to have to have a look at that. Um, yeah, I haven't heard of that It's great. There's, there's definitely a few um, apps in here. So for, for me, for, for iOS, it would be um, Lightroom, um, even longer, and just a camera app. Um, the camera app on the iPhone, I think, is just the shit. I think it's fantastic. Um, yeah. It, it's my thinking around mobile photography is that it's got to be convenient, it's got to be easy. Um, and there are certainly some fantastic apps out there, like Halide Pro Cam and all those sorts of things. Like David does a lot of them on his channel over there, reviewing those, um, those apps. But for me, it's just got to be bloody easy. And if, if I'm, and convenient. So if I'm, during my day, if I see something go, that's a cool photo, I'll pull the phone out. I don't want to manually control anything. I just want to set the composition, set the exposure, and, t- and focus and take the photo. For me, that's just me. So when I talk about my top three apps, that native camera app, just the, the camera app that comes on your iPhone, I think that's I think it's a great camera. All those, um, I've spoken about Russell, um, Russell Brown a few times before, Dr. Brown on Instagram. All those photos that he takes is just with the camera app on the iPhone. And they're sensational. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen him, Mike. I'm not sure. Um, yes, yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah. The Russell Brown show. Yeah, the Russell Brown show. He's a quirky yep. fella. Uh, he's a very, he, I really like him. He's a good guy. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll move that one out, wherever it is. There it is. And we've got some more here. XR Halide. Even longer. And Lightroom Mobile. Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo on the iPad. Yeah, yep, yep. I've seen that one. This is yeah, that's very like similar Photoshop. to what... Amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's a good tool. Oh, we're getting something. Ah, oh. <laughs> you get long days there at the moment, I guess. Over there in the UK. <laughs> Here he is. He's, he's my very supportive son. <laughs> With the Harry Potter business. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think another another camera replacement app that it, that uh, is quite good that um, for uh, people because I just ran a workshop for um, small business festival and one of the guys there was mm-hmm. doing car photography and he was asking about interior shots and when you're inside right. the car everything's nice and dark and then half of the frame could be out of the window where it's really bright so it's like taking interior shots that sort of thing and the hdr in our in our built-in cameras are getting better and better but there's Mm -hmm. one called uh hydra h-y-d-r-a and uh yeah that's really good for for the hdr stuff just it's one of those apps that is just single purpose it's all it does Mm -hmm. and this even has a hdr video it's um Mm-hmm. And I've never seen anything like it. Like it's just the HDR. If you yeah, us, us Aussies with our with our sunshine uh, yeah. <laughs> beaches where everything's super bright, um, yeah. yeah, that HDR video inside that that app Hydra is is fantastic. Yep. It's the only other one I'd, I'd suggest. Yeah, yep. There was really a good. guy, and I can't remember. I'm really sorry. I just can't remember who it was. He's an Aussie guy. Um, he's around Mudgy somewhere, um, and he was using even longer for interior car photos. Yeah, and perfect. they were mint. There was like not yeah. a grain of noise in it. They were they were just so good, so impressive. Yeah, yeah. Um, David's asking, do I think Lightroom CC with Lightroom Classic? Yep, I do. It's exactly what I use it for. Um, um, I use that Creative. So obviously, you need a subscription for that for the um, Creative Cloud. So I will edit photos on my desktop and sync them, sync, sync them to my phone if I need to or bring them down from the cloud to the phone if I want that particular photo and to the iPad, Lightroom, Photoshop, all three um, between those three devices. It just works. It, it works really well. Uh, as long as your internet connection is reasonably good, um, it works pretty well. So I only do it really here um, in, in the house, um, out on site, 
not really because the internet connection here is like as soon as you move a few kilometers from my house that the, the amount of hamsters running on that internet wheel are reduced <laughs> then it, just, it just doesn't work very well <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah i do do it it's, it's a very powerful tool the um that, that same guy russell brown that's exactly how he does all his stuff um when I was talking to him one time, he was saying, I said, oh, but you're, you're a gun photographer. What you're taking is fantastic. He says, no, Shane, I know how to take some photos, but I'm a really good um, Photoshop uh, technician. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And, and yeah. he is. He is. It's, it's, it's really impressive. That's um, right. Every, every photo needs to be edited. I know, I know our camera. And when, when we go shopping for uh, you know iPhone versus Samsung, each of them has their own inbuilt proprietary way of adding extra uh, contrast and the mid-tones and all this yep. and further saturation of colors. Yep. They all have their unique look, but it's not yes. always what you intended with your photography. Like you might have you might have wanted to take a dark, moody photo and one of those might not work. So that's why editing is mm. uh, I'm a drill. Yeah, every photo yeah. needs to be edited. Yep. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, when, when I would, um, any, whether it's with proper cameras or with proper cameras, whether it's with DSLRs or phones, uh, whenever I've been running workshops, <laughs> don't you know what this channel's called? Um, and uh, <laughs> and uh, people would say, oh, you, some people, not all people, some people would say, you never edit photos, that's just cheating. They're like, you need oh, to go back and look gosh. what they used to do in a dark room, love, because that's editing photos. And they did yeah. way well before computers were made. Um, yep. I switched back to Lightroom recently for Command H, Control H. What are you talking about here? I didn't think you used Lightroom, David. I thought you were not a subscription. Sorry, people people can't see what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's making comments, and I'm like just rattling on a little side tangent, and no one no one actually knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you're watching on a different platform, you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, what else we got here? Posted milk. Ah, I don't know if we can see this. But I didn't switch back. I'm not sure if he's joking with me now because you can't you can't really infer the the humour in um, a typed message. Um, uh -huh. Ah, wrong one. I put the wrong one. This is the one I wanted to put there. Did you see that? The time lapse that he did. I don't oh. know if I can bring it up. Uh, I can't bring video from a web page into this. I'm pretty sure, um, but um, I could bring it. Worth, there'd be no sound. There, there is no sound on it. Yeah. I've okay. got too many things going on here. I should have planned for that one a bit better. <laughs> but um, what I would absolutely encourage you to do is go and have a look at that because the amount of meteors and stuff that are going in planes and the Milky Way going through the through the sky with what he has done with that app, uh, with intervalometer wow. and he's obviously put it together in that time lab. It's um, it's it's ridiculous to get that from a phone. It's just it's yeah, it's ridiculous. It's so bloody impressive. Um, we'll get that out of there. What we do need to do is go and see some of these photos. Oh. This is this is my professionalism again. Um, just um, I'll, I'll just mucking around while I bring this in. This is the yep. um, the, the Facebook group, oh, um, and uh, we'll go through a few of these photos. Is there, are there any here that you want to see, mate? No, no. Follow your lead. Yep. Follow my lead. I'm leading. I think this is your <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> this is, um, I really wanted to do this one first because I know there's Android people watching this at the moment and I just wanted to kind of rub it in that you can't do this. <laughs> this is um, this is even longer. Um, but don't get me wrong, I'll, I'll go and take photos. I'll, I'll show you some photos in a minute and we'll rub it into the iOS guys because you can't do that. Um, this is even longer and the way that this guy has done this is really quite impressive he's he's taken this photo here and this is um something that i i talked about a little bit in the video that i did with the magenta cast that you get through it um and looking at the star trails that are on that photo i'm going to say it's probably an hour and a half worth of photo that one there it's because they're quite long those star trails um 
and I found that with the really long ones, uh, really really long uh, long exposures, it's um, can you show it on the Facebook page? Sorry, I'm just reading a comment. Um, what he's done then to get rid of that magenta cast is went and got a, a, a dark frame and then merged them to remove that dark frame from that. Nice. And he has ended up with that, which is another way to do That's it. clever. And it's worked quite That's well. Clever. Yeah. Mm. Uh, whereas I just put into Lightroom and reduced the tint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it, it got rid of most of it. Um, but that's also a, a very, very clever way of doing it. I love yeah, the fact brilliant. that there's so many different stars with different colors. That's just, yeah, that's really cool. Yep. I'm going to see. Um, someone just <laughs> there's, the, there's the Milky Way. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, Milky Way. I'll, I'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that, there, there was. I thought there was one on the road somewhere. Maybe yeah, that, I, that was what I was thinking of. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> great photo. Um, <laughs> oh, and this. How how impressive is this? That's from a, a, a Insta three sixty camera. That's right. That's ridiculous. That's. I think it's one of those. Um, it, you know how before I was saying to you, I'm not sure if it was in the live or when it was just you and I talking about um, buying gear and then or looking at gear going, that's so cool, I'm going to buy one of those and then yep. go, I can't make money out of that, so don't buy it from my photography business. This is one of those tools, that the right. 360 camera. Yep. And um, it's uh, um, to do those little planet. Oh, the battery's gone again. I've just uh, I just realised that yeah that's a tiny planet one because I'm looking at it thinking is that uh, an eclipse of something or <laughs> like I was totally yeah. confused because I, I can't read the writing it's a bit small here on my screen so yeah so that's a tiny planet that's oh really sorry cool. yeah yeah it's very yep. impressive yeah yeah it's uh, yep. using the rule of five hundred he's got a sixty second exposure with that that's there are some star trails on that yeah that's that's bloody impressive yeah, um, nice. this is the photo I was going to show you. Like, here you go. All the iOS oh, wow. people out there just cry away because that's something that we just can't do. Yeah. Just can't do it. It's, um, oh, it's Ron. <laughs> of course it's Ron. Ron Ron's, it, I, I'm at the point now when I see one of Ron's photos, I go, that's one of Ron's. It's going to be good. <laughs> and he, he, his light painting is incredibly good, even though this photo doesn't have it. Um, oh, there you go. There's, there's one that he has done with a little bit of light painting. It's a head down the bottom. Um, but he does, he's taken the same photos. No, sorry, I'm just going everywhere there. He's taken yep. photos on the same bridge, I reckon, where he's used some light painting. Like, how good's that? Nice. Nice. That's, wow. That's, yeah, very, very, very impressive. Yeah, that's um, nice framing. Frame within a frame. Within a frame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that yep. there, I, I'm not sure. I think Ron's in here um, in the in the chat. Ron, did you plan that that way? Like, did you use like photo pills or something to find when that call was going to be there? Because that's a that's an incredibly good shot. Like to yeah. to have that the galactic core rising from the centre between those trees above the railway tracks, but still be in that bridge. <laughs> that's like awesome timing. It's yeah, that's just ridiculous. So good. Or just running around crazy looking for it on the night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah. We, We've had a. I do love these sorts of photos, the long exposure stuff. Yeah, that some of these. Ah, uh, he does. So he just he just answered in the comments there um, that he uses photo pills. Um, now I'm. I don't know another way to see this. I'll go back. Back in here, I'll see if I can just find that. Is that one of yours? That's oh, one of Greg's. <laughs> that's so impressive. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's that's with um, I'm guessing the Struman Struman lens, Greg. I'm assuming that's the case. Oh, he's, what he's I, what I love about that B shot is that you can <clears> see <throat> the eyes, and a lot of a lot of B shots. Uh, if you don't get a good light source, then you don't get that, uh, you know, like a specular highlight, but it, they've got compound eyes and they're really dark eyes. So to get a bit of a yep. light reflection off there, it just adds life to that photo of the bee. It's, um, mm. yeah, fantastic. 
because and that yeah. bright light has actually made those wings pop out, and you can see the outline of the wings. So it's it's a really cool yeah. capture. And, and I Very love I love also the desaturation of the back there as well, just to isolate that bee a little bit more, get that juxtaposition. That's really really nice. It's so great. did you edit that, Greg? Um, I reckon you're in here. Yep, you are in here yep, for sure. He is. Um, yep. Did, did 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 you edit that background to desaturate that, or is that um, is that how it was? Like, is that just the the luck of the location? I guess. Well, there's another insect down the bottom there. I didn't realise. Two for yeah. one. I'd be interested to see. Yeah, if you if you edited that in any way to desaturate that to bring the the colour forward. Um, I'm just going to scroll through this. Here we go. How can I make that a little bit bigger? No. There we go. How's that from a phone? Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Gee whiz. That's so impressive. Wow. <laughs> That's unreal. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, let's go back into these. It looks like my battery has died again. Yep. So it's not your show again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not controlling the page. <laughs> <laughs> you just told me I'll go wherever. Um, what have we got here? Uh, oh, he's chasing the train tracks again. Go on, you're on. Yeah. yeah. Do a cloud cover that one. That's um, right. This is this is um, Greg's response. Some cropping background, just the way it is in the pic. Okay, cool. Wow. So there's no wow. in that, that that that's in reference to that B photo that we just saw a minute ago. Um, that is that is a dull, boring plant you've got in the background. Then <laughs> the desaturated plant. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are you talking about? Right, <laughs> Co context. <laughs> yeah. I'll fill in the blanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is something that Mario posts. So now, now that we've all sit there and going, oh, those Android gods have got it so good with that Milky Way photo, but that's in the middle of town. Like, look at the light pollution wow. that's in that photo. Yeah. And, like, you've got, there's plenty of buildings and stuff around here, so the light pollution in here would be pretty off the charts, and you're still able to get those yeah. um, those uh, star trails. So when, when it, and I've, and I've, when I've, a few different videos I've talked about this where, um, if you're in a, a situation you want to do astrophotography and you're in a light polluted area, star trails and ISS chasing and things like that, that's the way to do it. You're not going to get the galactic core, there's just too much light pollution, but you can certainly get photos like this um, in those sorts of locations with apps like this. It's And like, look at how in, in focus that foreground is as well. It's, it's such yeah. a good app. You've done such a good job with that. Yeah. Um, here come the cows. <laughs> There's certainly been a few cow photos this week. Was it, somebody... was it you? Was it you that mentioned the dropping calves? <laughs> like the dropping, <laughs> dropping on the ground. <laughs> Some people took that literally. <laughs> well, it, it kind of is literally. Um, yeah. Mum, yep. mum might stand there and drop it out. Uh, so that's, just, that's just how we refer to it as dropping calves. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> you don't, you don't like physically pick them up and drop them. Um, it's, <laughs> Like mum, mum stands like a good meter and a half tall, two meters or not two meters, meter and a half tall, and that that yep. that baby drops out the back end of her, um, yep. and then and, and then that's what an awesome photo. Whoever wow, took that is just fantastic. amazing. That's an amazing. That's an. Oh, it's mine. Um, the, <laughs> 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 oh, nice work. <laughs> this is uh, because somebody. Uh, I can't remember who it was. There, they they put these photos of these these Holstein cows. I'm like. No, uh, and that, and that kind of gave you permission then to just spam the, the group with your own. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the dairying world, you've got you've got two camps. You've got uh, Holsteins or you've got Jerseys, and where I work, it's all Jerseys. They're all brown cows, and um, well, you can see another one in the background there. But this here um, is with uh, portrait mode, um, and it, it, it's good enough that it's worked out that. That, that calf there is meant to be the thing in focus and everything behind it there is nice and blurred out. It's it's really yeah, quite impressive. Nice. Yeah. And when I when I edited this photo, it was what brought me to what we were talking about today in that um, the different apps that you use um, and the apps, what I use for this one. So when I open up my phone, 
um, and I go into the camera settings. I'm not the camera settings. I've got a little folder on my on my phone with all the camera apps that I use, all the photography apps that I use. And uh, starting from the top left hand corner, it's got a Snapseed PS camera, which I hardly ever use. It's just where it sits. Yep. Um, PS Express, Lightroom, and R and I films. Uh, and I, I don't know if you're familiar with R and I film. You probably are. Yep. Um, yep. It's um, it's kind of like a, a an easier version to use of Visco. Um, it's I think it's quite a powerful tool. It's something that's yeah. not really that well known, but it gives it a film look depending on the film. Yeah, it's got like these emulate. LUTs kind of look, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. The lookup tables for yeah. people who aren't into video. It's kind of like a preset, if you like. And um, another, can I mention another app? Uh, one that I because with 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 portrait mode or live focus, depending on what smartphone you're using, a lot of them you have to be a certain distance before it'll actually kick in and blur the background. But an iOS, sorry, an iOS <laughs> app is called uh, Focus F O C O S, and they were one of the first third-party camera apps um, to come out after the Seven Plus came out. They were one of the first ones to come out and use that depth map information and i know halide um and, and others do a really good job but focus was one of the first ones to come out and actually uh produce a camera app and you can actually be five meters away and tap on the area you want in in focus and it'll blur the background so you're not restricted to that limitation uh, yeah. of the iphone so that was yeah. i haven't looked at it for a while but but uh yeah and it, and the editor has this really cool thing where it'll actually show the where it kind of splices the scene for in in uh, all different planes of, of focus and you can spin it around and uh, it's really it was a great way of explaining the depth map process uh, but yeah that's yep. a really cool really cool app yep yeah I have heard that before um, there was that one and there, there, there were two that I think Greg might have mentioned to me one time and I ended up downloading them both and I had a quick play with it and it was like it's not really for me but I get yeah. I, because I, my phone can just do it. But I get where you're coming from, like the people who haven't got that ability in the physical device. It's certainly a way yeah. to. I think. To, to, I think the other one, the other that. one, Greg might have mentioned is Apollo because they both kind of came out at the same time. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. yep. Could have been. I think it might have even been on one of his podcasts or something. Um, what else do we want to talk about here? Any more of these? Some, some awesome photos. Like there's certainly macro yeah. seems to be where it's at at the moment. Oh, of course, it's Greg's with his. <laughs> He's showing off, showing off his new lens. Um, yeah, that's unreal. I was blown away by it. I, I didn't. Um, uh, I, I don't really do macro, and it was it was something that when I was talking with the, the guys from Sandmark, they're like, "We'd really like you to look at this the macro lens." I'm like, "Right, you know, yep. I shoot stuff that's like." Billions of kilometres away, right? <laughs> you can't get more opposite. <laughs> and, and anyway, they said one. And the first photo I took with it, actually, it might even, I'm not sure if I put it in this group. I can't remember. <clears throat> I've got a feeling I didn't. It's, I'm pretty sure I just put it on the on the members page on the in the group. But yep. it was, just take my word for it, it was awesome. It, it, it's, okay. um, <laughs> it was uh, yeah, I didn't put it in here. Um, it, the de uh, there was no editing on it. It was just the detail that was in it. It was just it was just ridiculous. I was so impressed by it. Um, yeah. And I think um, when when um, when I was talking to to Greg about this when I f when I first met Greg, it was on a, one of his, it was on his podcast when I went on his podcast, and and he was saying. And it's so true. He, he was saying that when you're stuck in a bit of a rut with your photography and you don't really, like, you, mm. there's, there's no stars to photograph. There's no, if you're into shooting dogs, no, rephrase that, if you're into photographing <laughs> or, dogs. Or you're stuck uh, at home. <laughs> or you're stuck at home. Um, <laughs> macro photography is a way to look at things just so differently. And I think yeah. that if, um, if you have uh, 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 a series of photos, if you're trying to take a photo or a series of photos or something, like macro shouldn't be just the only thing where it's at. Like I look at these sorts of photos, like what Greg's got there, and I go, a series of photos would be even better. Yeah. Like that's, that's, a, that's a fantastic photo. But yeah. if you had a series of photos, like a, an opening a shot, if you like. Of, like a, like like the, a triptych the, sequence type thing. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it would be, um, it would just be like next 
next level sort of thing. I think yeah. it's really quite impressive. Well, one of the things I love about macro is that uh, you can go chasing – uh, bees like this, I love I love chasing bees and and learning about their behaviours and that sort of thing, and so that that kind of creates another another passion interest. But macro, you yep. can then get into abstract photography and just look for textures, yeah. you, and you can learn about yeah. lighting and side lighting. You can and one of the things that I'm that I'm kind of playing around with is macro landscape, where you try and get down low underneath mushrooms and the little ah. mushrooms it can be like a like a replacement for a tree. And so it's like intimate landscapes. It's uh, it's just so much fun. It's just so much fun. Yep. Yep. I yeah. like the last comment down there from Scott Baker. I don't know if Scott's in here. Scott's usually in here, but I haven't seen anything from him before till this morning. Um, that like that's not too shabby, really. He's got like he's like the the pinnacle <laughs> of dad dad jokes. He is. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> it, when I put the cow the cow photo there, is is oh, what, what did he say? It was. Um, Oh, where is it? It was it was just a, a face palm moment sort of thing. Um, <laughs> That's my favourite emoji, by the way. <laughs> this, 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 this is calorific, he says, and, and, uh, and I'm nice. like, I did the whole Batman face palm thing. He's like, are you not amused? <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. Oh, no. Oh, you have a can of worms there. <laughs> yeah. I thought, don't no. encourage him. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, well, we've got, we've certainly got a few few good ideas here with different um, apps and stuff. And um, I don't think there's been any huge surprises there what people are using. There's been a couple of apps that I've never heard of. And there's, there's a couple there that, that you haven't heard of, which is which is great. Yeah. We've all learned something. Yeah. Um, uh, you put a cow pick there, Greg? Oh, you did too. Um, sorry, um, he was just saying that. Um, I do remember that photo. I just can't yeah. see it here now. He, he he put a photo because we were we were on this like this cow roll, if you like, of you have... posting photos of cows. Um, did I didn't did Greg do a macro ago. of a cow? <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't, don't say that sort of thing. I'll find something that a cow left behind in a paddock and do a macro of it. Lovely textures. Oh, there it is there. Uh, uh, oh, utterly yeah, impressive. Nice. Oh, my God. He's like... He's like oh, the, no. Oh, believe it. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> actually, he's got a... I'm not, I'm not sure if he's the next one. So every every two weeks I do this uh, this 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 yep. live stream and <clears throat> it's it's something that we just have a bit of fun with obviously and if and if we bring someone on like yourself and we learn something and um, learn new things about each other it's, it's what it's about but um, uh, Scott's actually coming on this as as a guest soon so that's bound to be just bloody hilarious if he's going to start pulling these <laughs> utterly impressive things and uh, yeah it's 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 quite cool I've, I've reached out to a few people to say hey come on to the show and um pretty much the people who are not content creators themselves like yourself uh all of them have gone oh no 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 i'm, I'm, I'm not good enough i'm like your buddy are like you're taking wow, some great no. photos <laughs> and it's yep. it's uh yeah like I, I reckon i'm going to put him on the spot um, cause he, like, tell me, I'll just go and find one of his photos. I've probably gone past all of them. Tell me the person who created that is not worth having on here to talk about it. Yeah. Cause that's, yeah. 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 He's like, oh, I don't know if I care. It's not, wow. yeah. yeah, you're in here, Ron. I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> but even, even still, I mean, we all kind of suffer from that imposter syndrome, don't we? But we can all learn yeah. something from everybody. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, mm. that, that everyone that comes on here, I'm about, there hasn't been anyone on here so far that I haven't learned something myself. Yeah. Um, and, and, and it's my show. And yeah. you'd think that I well, kind of should know I'm stuff. Kind of, but... I'm kind of going through that imposter syndrome at the moment with my uh, with the podcast. Because the podcast, it's like it's just me on the podcast. And I want to, and I want to get into interviewing. But because I... I follow so many photography podcasts that I absolutely love. It's like I can't possibly interview someone and make it worth worth listening to because I'm not an interviewer. I don't have those skills. So we all we all experience that at different levels. We do. Yeah, I, I don't think it's. I, I shouldn't say that. when I first started this 
whole YouTube business. I'm, if you if you knew me, if 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 you went to a party and there was like twenty people there, and I turned up. I wouldn't be saying anything. I'm I'm absolutely <laughs> introverted person. I'll be the person sitting over in the corner, and, and there's, there's this thing with Omex Army, as you probably know, and AJ is a term that's used yep. to describe army people, <laughs> army jerks, um, army jerks. And, <laughs> yeah, and 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 I, I would I would absolutely do what what is referred to as the AJ fadeaway, as in there's an army fellow in the corner, but he's gone. Yeah, yeah. He, just, he just he just left because he doesn't fit yep. here. That's me. Um, but I come yep. into this, and I'm do, all I'm doing is talking to a camera, and there's a, there's a heap of people watching, yeah. and, um, yep. and, and and we're all on the same page, sort of thing. Um, mm. it, it's, it's when I first started, it was pretty intimidating. Um, yeah. But I, I would say for your for your podcast, um, start doing it, mate. Like you got you got a room yeah. full of people here who would be happy to go along and talk to you. Um, yeah. But yep. there you go, David. David, what is it? Here we go. This is this is probably one of the the best comments. And I, I remember, um, I remember when when he said this. I think it was, yeah, absolutely. I think it was in Greg's podcast actually, um, because there's a there's a oh, did you listen to that one? You and I are rock stars, yes. by the way. <laughs> rock stars, yeah. Yeah. rock stars. I'm I'm waiting for the private jet. I've been called many things, but Not never that. <laughs> you, you just know that there's this bloke in Canada at the moment pissing himself laughing. <laughs> so, oh yeah, rock stars. That's right. Um, but, <laughs> but it is. It's it's absolutely a a cool community. It's. Um, I reached out to a few different um, uh, YouTubers who who are in this sort of space, um, as in mobile photography, and um, pretty much all of them have gone. Yeah, yeah we'll do something cool. Let's. We're open to it. Yeah. It's not like you. The, the YouTube space is a, um, uh, and the podcasting space, I believe, is is a place where you're not really competing. Um, mm. the, 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 yep. the people who have our channels are almost colleagues. Um, the, the YouTube space, for me, this is the only time I ever talk to someone about it. Like, I yeah. talk to Sarah about YouTube. It, it kind of goes... <laughs> yeah. Not that interested. <laughs> well, she's very supportive, but yeah, yeah. there's two different things, she, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She has a lot going yeah. on in her own her own business and stuff, and it's like I don't mm. want to like take that part of my brain and learn about something else because you know what you're doing with that, and and then yeah. you reach out to people like yourself and people like Greg and David. Um, it's it, it, there's no there's absolutely no elitism there. Um, it's and, and and Ralph, I don't know if Ralph's in here. I'm not sure. And and if he's and if he's not in here, Ralph, I'm going to be calling you later, saying where the hell were you, man? Because um, <laughs> because yeah, I forgot about you earlier in the piece. <laughs> maybe maybe when I said, oh, you're the only Aussie guy I've had on here. <laughs> maybe he's got fight. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's hung up. <laughs> <laughs> but but as far as your your podcasting goes, like what he has said there. Um, as in, there's no elitism. There's no one saying I'm better than you. There's none of that. Yeah. Um, it, it's just not. It, it's yeah. such a good community. And what we've got here yeah. on on that Bloody Legends uh, photography group is such a good community. Um, yeah. I, I would encourage you, mate. If you're if you want people on your your, your podcast, Done. just ask, and, yeah, and people perfect. will do it. Feel feel free yeah. to just post something on that on that group um, cool. if you wanted to. Excellent. And, and yeah, fill, fill your boots, mate. I think it's it's only going to grow the community. Um, yeah, that's it. That's great. That's how it is. Yeah, when yeah, when um, that, but don't be don't be um, uh, discouraged by someone saying I was too busy at the moment. Um, yeah, it's just everyone has different things going on in their lives, and hit them up again later. That's actually that's mm. exactly what I did with David Addison. Um, way back when, oh, it's probably six to twelve months ago, I, I sent him a message saying, "Hey, let's do a collab," and he, he was just too freaking busy. But, yeah, but yeah. As, as things as we both found our kind of rhythm in in the YouTube life, I think then you go, well, oh, I can do something here. We can help each other grow yeah. a little bit, and and it was it was so far it's been a pretty good sort of collaboration, and we'll keep doing yeah. stuff. Um, same with Ralph and yourself, and yeah, we we'll just keep doing things. Yeah, I think it's, it's worth doing. Yeah, yeah. And I and I, and I see right. David's found found more time to go and start a podcast as well. <laughs> I know the David Addison Show. <laughs> Yeah, fantastic. It, it, but will you be like more um, happy and encouraging of apps or just going to take the piss out of it, David? 
<laughs> when I watched, when I watched, um, he even made a comment. Well, probably wasn't taking the piss. It was more like, what, what did he say? It was with the, um, the even longer app. Because yep. what I do is <clears throat> with the apps, um, I don't, I, I tend not to just do a review on it. I tend to just go, um, this is what it can do, and this is how you do it. So it's kind of yep. like a. I think he described it as a hybrid of, of a tutorial and a review, whereas yep. David's um, generally doing reviews. And he does them really well. But if, it, if there's something wrong with that, or you'll let you know about it, whereas I'll kind of go, this is just yeah. how you do it. And, yeah. and in the, in the yep. video that him and I did together, it was like, well, Shane's a lot happier. <laughs> a lot more, <laughs> what do you say, happier? Or, um, it was something like that. It, 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 I'm, I'm paraphrasing absolutely here, yep. but it was something like he, he was a lot more energetic and, and happy about the app than what I was. Something like that. You got to watch the video. And, and I thought, yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> but but def, definitely go and um, uh, ask these guys, mate. Like, I, I, yeah, I would put done. money on it that Greg McMillan would go on your podcast. David yeah, Addison sure. would probably go on your podcast. He's, he's a nice Brilliant. guy. Um, yeah, I saw Dave's so, you know, comment there. Just, just go do it. Start it. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. You. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sorry. laughs> yep. his, first, his first podcast was, was, a, was about a spat. <laughs> was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Happy Aussie grumpy English, but that's what it was. <laughs> 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 there's, there's nothing there's nothing derogatory about it it was it was just it was a funny comment and i thought yeah right but he does it incredibly well no, no yep. one bitches and moans like an englishman right that's <laughs> <laughs> it, all, all in jest david you know that all right guys i reckon yeah. i reckon we've jibber jabbered enough about this my phones my 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 cameras died twice now which is a record it doesn't normally die that quickly yeah. maybe one of my batteries yeah. is on the way out um be... anyway um well uh thanks for coming on dude it was, it's, no worries it's really pleasure good. i, I really enjoy fun. that yeah once once we're allowed out of our house without getting fined or we should catch up and and do something because yeah. you're not that far away yeah. you, you, you're the closest person geographically that's been on this show you're only like three and a half hours away i think right? <laughs> yeah. still a little way <laughs> <laughs> well it is a little ways but everything's a long yeah. way from me yeah yeah, yeah. all right Fantastic. Well, thanks for watching guys um We'll see you in two weeks. If I'll, I'll put a, a comment over on the uh, the Facebook page there, um, just to just to work out the best time to do this. Like at the moment, I'm trying to keep it the same time, um, but some comments that have come in today have have suggested maybe this isn't the best time. Um, we shall see. If you've got a, a, a better time, I might even throw a few options to you guys. It's always going to be in. In, in my time, so we'll just convert because there's too many of you. You're, you're from all over the world. I can't just sit here and say, in Belgium, it's go Belgium, it's going to be this time, and in Canada, it's going to be this time. It's I'm just going to say, if I do it at this time, which one of these is going to be better? Um, because there's people here clearly at work, and people who are driving home watching YouTube or something like that. Greg, they're going. Is in a car. Uh, <laughs> 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 but anyway. Um, uh, We'll, we'll, we'll look at some options there and we'll, we'll go from there. All right? Thanks for coming on, man. And I uh, hope no to worries. catch up with you Thank soon. You. I'll Cheers. see everyone else in two weeks' time. Catch you later.